I swear guys, that's not pee. I swear to it. It's diesel. This bright yellow diesel. Well, it's a new day. Yep, we're gonna play farmer today. No, not really. It's morning. That's right, guys. Woo, yay, we wake up. All right, so we're gonna walk around the truck here real quick, make sure everything's kosher. Uh, we are in, uh, where are we? Webster City, Iowa. We got a lot of trucking to do today. We won't make it all the way to Georgia yet today, but uh, we will definitely get as close as we can. That way I don't have to wake up too early in the morning to finish the trip out. All right, let's jump up in the truck. Make sure you keep little buds up and going. I promised at McDonald's this morning, so we're gonna go eat McDonald's. All right, as you can see, little buds, awake. It's early, isn't it, bud? Yeah. We're not morning people, are we? No. Uh, yeah. All right, I promised the McDonald's, like I said. So we're going to run over, grab some McDonald's. Then we're going to get on the road because we got some serious trucking to do today. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. We gotta find the bathroom. Where is the bathroom? I swear, why do they hide this all the time? Where is it? 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 Ah, there it is. All right, trip's going real good so far. We're been along pretty good. Only got about 55,480 million miles left to go. At least that's what it feels like. How we doing, little bud? Okay. Okay. I hired you. I hired you as an employee yesterday. How am I as a boss? Okay. Okay. Did I forget to tell you that you're working for free? No. No. Ooh. Parents, come on now. We gotta remember to tell them they work for free, right? All right. Let's go back trucking. Again, guess what time it is? It's time for little bud to do his zoom with his teacher and class and class So this is how we do zoom when we're in the big truck All right, little bud go ahead and jump in the seat Yeah. Okay, let's slide your seat up Like that move that down hold up a sec Stand up for a second. Take a seat. I have to move the stand. Okay. There you go. Take a seat. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're gonna take his phone. Is it charged? Yep. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna make sure his screen, lens, whatever, is nice and clean. Yep. We're going to go to Zoom. Yep. We're going to join meeting. Join meeting. All right. 
I need to put you on hold for a second because the numbers I need are on my phone. Well, I had to move camera spots because he's set up. Look at him there. He's got a steering wheel, a shifter, and he's going to be zooming right there. It's pretty simple, this zoom thing. You just punch in your password. Or no, actually you punch in, it's like a code. And then once you get... Uh, ID. Yeah, it's your ID. There you go. Once you get the ID on there, then all you got to do is put in a code. And you just sit and wait for them to... Start it. Start the meeting. And then I'll be in. Then he'll be in. <sighs> I don't know if you guys can't tell, he's starting to bounce a little bit. You got a long day to start bouncing already, son. I know. I'm not bouncing. While he's doing the zoom, though, I am going to jump out and uh, do a little work on the truck. I'll explain that when I get out. Oh. We got to be quiet. Shh. Do I drop my video? Okay. He's zooming now. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you zoom. I love that the teachers do that. Off to another topic we got to talk about, though. I don't know if I'm the only driver having this problem, but okay, fuel prices are really low right now. Well, they're yeah, they're low. But it just seems like every chance, every time I get fuel. My fuel filters are giving me troubles. Now either I don't know if I, have, I might have something inside the fuel tanks or we're getting crappy fuel. Like uh, right now we're in New London, Missouri. Fuel prices are great. $1.96 a gallon. That would be great. I can't fuel up here because every time I fuel up here, they almost plug my fuel filters instantly. You know, we stopped in Iowa yesterday and got fuel and I woke up this morning fired up the truck and was looking at the uh, Okay, sorry. I need to back up. There's a gauge inside my truck It tells me the fuel restriction in my fuel system on the motor on the engine and uh, that gauge was Rising pretty good. That means there's a lot of restriction going through the filters. I Don't know what it is. So what we're gonna do now is I don't know if I can even show you. Let's try this. What I'm going to do now is what they call this is a fuel water separator. It's supposed to separate the water out of your fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to drain this. Probably take probably about a half a pot bottle full out and see if there's a bunch of water in this filter. And see if that works out. No clue if it's going to or not, but we're going to try it. So while Troy's doing the zoom inside the truck, let's go ahead and get this done and see what we find out. Now realistically, this is laziness on my part. Because every time I, when I used to get fuel, every single time I got fuel, <coughs> I would uh, have a pop bottle, about like this, and I would uh, always cut it down and drain a little bit out of that fuel water separator. And I quit doing that. And like I said, it's been okay. You know, I really haven't had to worry about it in a while. But for some reason, since the fuel prices have come down, my filters are not lasting near as long as they used to. I used to get plenty of miles out of my fuel filters, and I'm just not getting them anymore. Let's see if there's any water in there. Kind of looks like a bottle of pee, doesn't it? You know, I got a little bit there. I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit and let maybe something drop to the bottom. Because nothing's really separating up too much. Unfortunately, I am starting to see some black specks in there. I'm really hoping I don't have algae in my fuel tanks. Algae in your fuel tanks is well, it's almost like the word algae, you know, it's a slime that gets on the side of your fuel tanks and it's a bear to get rid of. A bear. Alright, well, we got that done. We're going to let the fuel set for a little bit. Now let's just wander around the motor, see if we can find anything else wrong with it. A little bud zooming that usually takes about 30 minutes, so I'm kicked out. That's right, kicked out of my own truck again. That's happened a lot since I started bringing people with me. Well, it's been about 15 minutes now. I gave her a really good look-see. I swear guys, that's not pee. I swear to it. It's diesel. This 
bright yellow diesel. I'm not seeing anything in it. Maybe a little bit of water in there, but not enough to make my gauge inside the truck tell me what it's doing. So, is anyone else having this problem since fuel prices went low? Is anyone else having the issue with the fuel just flat out being crappy? All right, well, little bud's almost done with his Zoom meeting. So we're gonna get, jump back in the truck here in about 10 minutes. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Well, Zoom is done. He's eating lunch right now. We're gonna start moseying through the truck stop. He's gotta put his seatbelt on before we hit the road. And uh, we have a long ways to go. No need in telling you how far we got to go. Just know that it's a long ways. Can I tell him? No, I don't want to tell him. Why? Because I don't want to tell him. I have to have some secrets. This is my secret. I have to have some. But I'll impress them. No, we're okay. No? Okay, bye. Alrighty. Other than that, guys, we'll talk to you in a little bit. stopped in uh, Candiz, Kentucky right now. I don't know what everybody's complaining about with everything being locked down. I just ordered Subway. They're going to bring it out to us. Pretty cool, right, bud? Yeah, he's he's saying yeah. So I don't know what yeah. everybody's complaining about. Yeah. I mean, anytime Subway can bring food to my truck, I'm a happy man. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll be back later. Yeah. Literally. Subway just came to the door of my semi. How many times can you say that's happened to you? I don't even think Subway delivers. No, it doesn't. No, I don't think so. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I tried convincing little bud to let me park here for the night. No, you don't have a choice unless you want to wake up at 5 a.m. and drive. He's and informed me I can't. And it'll probably still be raining at that point. Yeah, because it's raining. It is raining, and rain and fog just make me tired. I'm saying but that. I, I keep guess... him awake. If I sleep, I'm in trouble because then he'll sleep. And yeah. No one likes that. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> All right, guys. We better get back to trucking. We got a little bit left to go. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Well guys, we've made it. Yeah, I'm the weird guy standing in the middle of the road right now. The entrance way to where we're going to get unloaded. And uh, it's the only place I could find a street light. It's a dark, dark part of town. Really nice sleeping weather though, I gotta say. Little Bud's in the truck. I told him, get your butt back there, go to bed. It's kind of late. 
We're gonna get unloaded in the morning, then we'll go grab our reload. I'll tell you more about the reload when I find out. I have the reload, I just, you remember guys, the memory of a goldfish, I can't remember what it is. Had a good, good day's worth of driving. It was a solid day worth of driving. Got a lot of miles covered. Um, little Bud got to experience going over uh, another eastern mountain. Uh, we went, uh, he, I took him up and over Mount Eagle. I told him it's a lot prettier during the daylight, so hopefully, I don't know which way we're gonna take home yet tomorrow, but if we go that route here, get to see it during daylight. If we don't, we choose to go through Memphis, then he won't get to see it, which isn't the end of the world. He's, he's seen Black Mountain and uh, the Gorge and all those other places over here in the eastern part of America that are really pretty. It's a pretty part of America, just a lot of people. Holy crap. That's a lot of people living over here, guys. I'm glad I live where I do. It is beautiful over here, but I'm just, I'm glad I live where I do. I've talked a lot and this video is probably going to be too long anyway. Uh, just a little heads up, this video is probably going to be a little late because I don't know if I'm going to edit it tonight. And I just realized you guys won't know that because I'm telling you right now that the video I'm making right now is going to be late. I guess that means I'm kind of tired and I need to go up into that truck and get some sleep. You guys be happy, be safe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning.